Hello vinyl community, what's about to ensue is another turntable speed test video. So what I'm going to be looking at is the apps available for an iPhone and a stroke disc. So if you're curious, stick around for more. Hello Vinyl Community, there's nothing better than having your assumptions challenged and sometimes you find out you're wrong and when you find out you're wrong hopefully you learn something from it. Uh, there is a wonderful YouTube channel out there uh, which under which goes under the moniker Hi Vi News uh, which is done by Ian in Singapore. Ian is one of the few Asian members of the VC and he does wonderful videos on turntable setup and analog equipment. In one of his videos uh, he showed that these devices can be somewhat inaccurate. And if you've done any technical studies, so like science or engineering, uh, one of the first things that you learn is that there's a difference between accuracy and precision. So accuracy uh, really is how well do things measure up against a true standard. And in Ian's wonderful video, he demonstrated that these are a more accurate representation of the true turntable speed. Uh, he compared it to his Samsung phone and it got me to thinking well maybe I should do a similar test myself which I'm about to show and I think what you're gonna find is at least my iPhone uh, is precise so you know it can regularly measure things to uh, a certain repeatable measurement now that doesn't mean accuracy because people confuse precision and accuracy but it's also very accurate because it gets close to a true standard which is this guy so uh, let's get into it I have my first test which I do show a comparison between this guy and this guy and you can see that you know this guy is gonna get you in the ballpark so close enough So as you can see, um, my turntable with its current setup is pretty close. Uh, I didn't see, you know, the accuracy difference uh, that Ian got from his Samsung. So it shows that the iPhone, at least the gyroscope accelerometer settings are a little bit better than the Samsung, but you know, it's not as good as the old fashioned strobe disc. So for my next test, I went to my local record shop and I talked to my the dealer, uh, Nigel, at Sweet Spot Audio and he let me use his Stanton deck uh, for this next test. And the Stanton deck is a direct drive turntable. Now there are two different turntable designs. There's direct drive and belt driven. Direct drive uh, is, they're great turntables, uh, don't get me wrong, and it operates under a different design philosophy where the motor is in contact with the, the spindle, which is driving the platter. Uh, so you get really good speed accuracy. 
The downside to direct drive is that you get motor vibrations which can travel up to the platter and, you know, affect the sound by a little. I mean, with the direct drive, yes, you get the sound, but, you know, you look at the difference in design philosophy with the belt driven, you, you try to mitigate the motor vibrations from getting to the platter. So that's the difference that you see. Now the problem that I had with this test is the lighting was not so good for using the strobe disc. But uh, I am pointing out in the video that you know a lot of these direct drive turntables do have a strobe meter at the bottom. In fact the DJ turntables do because you're changing the pitch and the variation. So I point out there's little dots around the platter and you look at the dots and you can see how accurate it is. And so this is just kind of a verification on how accurate uh, this guy can be and, you know, how precise uh, it is relative to some of the other measurements that I'm taking. All right, so I had another number of comments on my previous uh, test video where folks said, well, if you have a record on there, the speed is going to be different. Well, if you, you're actually playing the record and you have the stylus and the groove, you're going to add drag force and that's going to affect the speed. Well, I decided to do a test of that as well. And I got to say, you want the drag force to be extremely minimal. Uh, yes, there is drag force. Uh, but if you had significant drag force, you'd be doing damage to your records, and you don't want to see that. So I'm not denying that there isn't drag force. There is, but it is not something that can be measured uh, with this guy. Okay, so uh, hopefully this video was useful and not too boring. Uh, if you got a comment, shoot me one below. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I hope to do some more videos like this in the future.